Section 7.3, Product Sum Identities. We're going to be using the following set of identities. Make sure you can find them on your sheet and are familiar with them. First is our double angle, and those are on the left column, second to the bottom. Our double angle identities are that sine of, actually we'll make some space off to the side. Here we go. So for double angle, we get that sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta. For cosine, we get cosine of 2 theta equals cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, which also equals 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 which also equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Any of those options will work for cosine of 2 theta. And tangent of 2 theta equals 2 times tangent of theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. So take a moment, make sure you are familiar with these. And there's actually a pretty simple proof for where these double angle formulas come from. Let's look at sine first. We know sine of 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. But to prove that, what we want to do is write sine of 2 theta as sine of theta plus theta. We can then apply our sum formula So we can use the sum and difference formulas. We find then that sine of theta plus theta equals sine of theta cosine theta plus cosine theta sine theta, which equals 2 sine theta cosine theta. And that is the proof of our sine double angle identity. For cosine, we're told that cosine of 2 theta equals, and we have a slew of options. Remember, we have all three of these up here. But let's look at how we might prove this. So what we're going to do is, again, we're going to end up using our sum identities. We know cosine of 2 theta can be rewritten as cosine of theta plus theta. We can use our sum identity and see that that gives us cosine theta, cosine theta, minus sine theta, sine theta, which is, in fact, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. We also know from our Pythagorean identities that, co that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, which we can rearrange to tell us that sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared, and that cosine squared equals 1 minus sine squared. So this could also be rewritten as cosine squared minus 1 minus cosine squared, which becomes 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. Or, so here's option 1, here's option 2. Or we can substitute in the cosine squared to get 1 minus sine squared minus sine squared which gives us 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. And there's your third equation. And lastly, we'll take a look at the tangent double angle formula.